In late August, six friends and I spent almost a week in the Wind River Mountains in uh, Wyoming, and this uh, video covers days three and four. Well, it's uh, day three. Uh, cool night last night, 35 degrees when I got up uh, somewhere after 7.30, up where I am, but uh, down a bit and right beside the water where the others are. Uh, they actually had uh, ice in their out water bottles outside and lots of frost. Uh, so colder down because of the water, I guess. And definitely it was down to freezing and probably a little below. Joan has maybe the best sight. Uh, the other side of her tent is open and she's sitting there eating, drinking coffee and looking at that incredible view. And we're going to head now to Mays Lake and camp somewhere around there. We've talked about the first people finding a campsite uh, and generally know where we're going to look, but there may be lots of people, so it may be limited in terms of selections. This map covers our entire trip, but nights three and four were spent toward the top of the map at Mays Lake doing a day hike to the East Fork uh, Valley. And this map shows how we got to Mays Lake, starting at Marms Lake at the bottom and hiking up to Mays Lake uh, at the top on day three. Heading up the trail. Great view up here. There's Tommy, Beverly and John are gone, and back there, and back there, John is getting ready to go. And here comes Joan. That's the last of our group except for me. And I've got to climb back down. I'm not packed up. My pack is down there, ready to go. Last view of Marms Lake. We camped to the left over there and came up from the far side on the right all the way around to there and now we're heading up the Haley Pass Trail to Mays Lake. The uh, first half mile from the camp is really hard. Climbing 700 feet, several hundred feet at 10,000 or so feet up this draw. Way down there is where we started. That's Marms Lake. We camped to the left side of it and then up the draw. I'm at the top right now. This is the view that makes it all worthwhile. Uh, we're looking into the right there, the East Fork. Uh, upper basin down below is uh, what cheesy I think it's pronounced uh, basin and we're going to be camping somewhere over those trees right there in that ridge at uh, uh, just below Pyramid Lake on Mays Lake incredible view here's another great view of where we're heading a little tarn unnamed lake there and there is the upper East Fork River Basin. And we're gonna be over to the right side of that. Incredible ranges of mountains around. Washakie Pass is up there somewhere. Haley Pass to the left and Texas Pass, which I've climbed over maybe to the right there. Nothing but big 10,000 plus, plus foot mountains and lakes and open meadows and forest. Definitely the last hour has made the trip worthwhile. Well here's where I start uh, hiking new territory. Uh, on a prior trip years ago I did the uh, Jackass Pass, Circuit of the Towers, 
Texas Pass Loop, and on that one, after crossing, tech, after going on the first two, you come down and over and down Texas Pass and down that valley there and down this trail to right here and then out. But today, I'm going to go left and go up towards Skull Lake, which is right across on the other side of that stone mountain there, and then to the to, Pira, to uh, Maze Lake and Pyramid Lake, which are off to the side of the East Fork uh, River Valley. And that big mountain there is kind of the uh, south west side of the East Fork, which continues on down the valley. Just incredible open country. Uh, so beautiful. You can't see uh, te uh, a Texas Pass that I'd crossed previously, but I think that's Washakie Pass right there. Uh, looks pretty, uh, pretty low, and that's about where it should be. And uh, we're crossing, or I'm crossing the Washakie Creek Valley in a minute. And then Haley Pass would be on, over on that in that direction there, which uh, we might day hike to. I mentioned Circa the Towers. There's the backside of the Circa the Towers. An incredible uh, valley with these high mountains like that, jagged peaks sticking up above it in a lake, Lonesome Lake down below. The views don't stop. Uh, I'm going down right now to cross the Washakie Creek and then up to Skull Lake that way. But the views just are incredible. Small lake there, unnamed, I think. Looking back at the Cirque of the Towers and uh, then looking down Washakie Creek. Just an incredible, beautiful. Landscape. Your ability. No trekking pole, and you just found it across with your hands full. Good you for you. Any life out up there, though. No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so don't mention that. <laughs> Rock hocking, Washakie Creek. Yeah, he's good too. You don't want to. Put some water on that and clean that cut. <laughs> Good job! Congratulations! It looks pretty. It's a little dirty. Yeah, okay. This lake right here. You cannot see it from the trail. Okay. But you can contour across at a low part here above these little ponds. Okay. And then I camp right about there. You might see where I camp because I flatten the grass. Yeah. Walk the Okay, I'm Will Skelton, and you're. My name is Jens Arnes. From, and you're going to cross this without yeah. falling. So go right ahead, go. and I will. Hey, I'll send you the video. See you later. Now this time I'll fall, right? <laughs> right. Perfect. See you later. Great guy. After crossing uh, Washakie Creek, uh, there's another steep climb, which at 10,000 feet for me anyway is pretty difficult. Uh, here's the way I'm generally walking and breathing uh, all these steep sections. Call force breathing, breathing, and gets more oxygen into your lungs. Well, this is my lunch spot, just about perfect, looking out on Skull Lake and the East Fork is below those big jagged peaks to the left, and I think Mays Lake that we're going to is probably beyond that forested round knob there. It's about a mile, 1.2 miles or so to go. 
Yeah, I'm pretty tired. A lot more climbing again out of uh, Washakie uh, Valley. This is Skull Lake. Don't know why it's named that, but an incredibly beautiful lake. Well, uh, I am, I think, at Mays Lake, or the unnamed lake before it. Uh, here is our incredible view. Mays Lake, that's Tommy's tent right there. We're all spread out. That's uh, Joan down there. And Beverly and John over there. And just beyond them, you can't see it down below, is Bob. And way over there is me and then up there on the top tip top is steve here's a shady topo map that shows uh, just how incredible the location of our base camp at the bottom uh, right uh, was uh, so I, I don't mean to be nose or anything, but you're not really a prisoner, and that's uh, to see where you. Oh at. no, no! <laughs> um, I rolled my ankle a couple months back, and it takes it takes about three months to get healed all the way. So, um, so what does that do? Uh, this is just a brace. Oh. So, yeah. so how many miles have you done today? Uh, going on 22 right now. Jesus, and you got 11 to go. 11 you to still go. smile. Damn. Yeah, you, you really. <laughs> I love it. It's, What's your residency? In? I'm doing family medicine. Good for you. And where is that? Corvallis, Oregon. Oh. Well, he, I know he had some water, and he had a bear. He had bear spray. Uh, and he's in a uh, pretty good shape. What? Yeah. Really good shape. I mean, God, the mileage he's done, just doing that Texas Pass loop. My God. Reminds me of that guy we met on uh, in Glacier. Jeez, he is really moving. My neighbor two doors up has done a hundred mile. Uh, He's finishing his residency at uh, university somewhere. I'm going to practice in Corvallis, Oregon. Well, Amazing guy. <laughs> she's still, she's got well, five long, or six kids and yeah, long, still going long, strong. Long a hundred mile, is it a race? It was a race, yeah. I'm going to get a quick video of the, uh, 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 what do you call it, auspicious or whatever guy that joined us, uh, Bernie Sanders over there. Uh, it's really nice to have you, Bernie. Show us your... Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Came all the way from Vermont out here to the Wind Rivers. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to scowl. That's right. Yeah, you never smile. You're smiling way too, way too much there. I can't scowl. She's got the forward one. Well, it's almost uh, 8 o'clock and a cold night, cold, cold night. There's a frozen uh, condensation all over the tent. And it was, uh, it's 8 o'clock and 30 degrees, so it was below 30 for sure. There's the others' camps. No wind, but uh, cold. And the sun just came up a few minutes ago. So I was in the tent. We went to the tent somewhere a little after 7.30. So 12 hours in the tent, a long time. And there's the huge mountains. That's Pyramid Peak right there. And Hooper. Peak, that big one there, the ice cleaver or meat cleaver, I call it. I had all my clothes on last night. Uh, rain jacket, uh, down parka, and everything under that. Toward 8:30, uh, everyone is up and drying off their tarps, I guess. Some of them and eating breakfast. There's Bob there eating breakfast. 
right there. Right there. And I found the perfect place down there is the creek. You can hear it for breakfast or just to sit. It's kind of a long rock sloping down in the center. Just absolutely perfect uh, to sit there and uh, cook there. I've got a great spot to get water too. Uh, the Outflow Creek uh, from Mays Lake. Right there. And great scenes on down the Creek Valley. Camp is just right up there. So around 10, we uh, start up Valley. Well, Fitz and Spur Spurts, uh, Bob's tent is right there. He may already be gone. Steve is back behind. I don't think he's left yet. Tommy's up there. Uh, Joan is right there. And down at the creek are Beverly and John I'm trying to figure out how to cross, I guess. Or crossing. Our destination is below that mountain right there, Pyramid Lake. And uh, then off to the left of it, uh, the uh, East Fork River Valley. Here's a regular topo map and a shady topo map that show uh, the route uh, we took uh, on the day hike, starting at the Maze Lake at the bottom, then up to Pyramid Lake, and then over to the East Fork uh, Valley. Oh, that's a big one coming up. Well, you're staying dry so far. Good job. This is the outflow creek from the lake up there. Mays Lake. And good view here of the pass, Haley Pass up there. What a wonderful view. There's Joan hiking up toward Pyramid Lake. Beverly and John, you can't see them, we're just in the woods there. And way out there, Somewhere is Bob, who I think is fishing. He's traversing along the bank to find a better hole, I guess. And Steve and Tommy are behind us. They were in camp when we left. This is the head of Mays Lake with Pyramid uh, Peak looming over there and Bob is right over there fishing Steve heading up the trail over to uh, Pyramid Lake Tommy's decided to stay in camp and uh, enjoy the campsite Getting close to Pyramid Lake. Here's the outflow stream. And just down below those peaks is Pyramid Lake. And here's the first good view of Pyramid Lake. Tower Peak right there. Hooker Ball, Hooker Mountain there, Peak. And over here is Pyramid Peak, which we saw from the uh, camp and Pyramid Lake there and that's Joan walking out on a little split of land there as far as she can go maybe guess what Joan's doing she's wading pretty deep upper thighs to a little island out in uh, Pyramid Lake And she made it. Great. Great! You did great, Joan! Yay! 
You did good. Hey, Joan, remember there are no lifeguards here. And I'm going to continue on out this trail uh, to the East Fork River over there. Pyramid Mountain, Pyramid Lake. Uh, we uh, all went up on that ridge there to look down the East Fork a little, but not a really good view. And now some of us, at least myself and maybe Joan, are going to go up... Uh, this trail that goes over for a really good view down to the Upper East Fork Lakes. We saw uh, two backpackers going out and Steve saw another one camped. Well, here's the first tarn. There's another one over there. And then just down to the left of that big uh, peak there is I think where we'll have a view of the East Fork Valley. Steve and Joan are going on with me and Beverly and John come to this point and are going to head back at this point. We all like that big face there. And they say there's pictures in it. You can pick out pictures, particularly in late afternoon light, late e or early evening light. We're heading for the gap right there to look down into the East Fork River Valley. What a place. It's, uh, certainly, this day makes the entire trip worthwhile. Okay, we, Joan, Steve and I, are at the upper of the small lakes or tarns. The route goes up around the lake and then up to right there. And here we are. East Fork River Basin. No, oh, down to the left, yeah, way down to the left, yep. That's Ambush Peak, the arrowhead there, south. And there's Ambush Peak, north. And down there's uh, the first of, uh, that we see anyway, of the uh, East Fork Lakes. And up there, I think, is Mount Bonneville. And up there is the peak that we've been seeing, Tower Peak. Here's a couple of photographs that show just how incredible the East Fork River Valley is. Uh, the first off the internet, an aerial view, and the second I took uh, from uh, the east side of the valley. So John and I have got a wonderful lunch spot overlooking East Fork River Valley. And there's a couple of lakes right below us, and more lakes on up the valley. Again, Ambush Peak south there, Ambush Peak north there, and Mount Bonneville way in the distance at the upper end of the valley. After lunch just beyond those trees there, we're heading back to camp. Just an incredible valley. So much beauty. There's Joan out ahead of me. The little peak is Midsummer Nigh Dome, I think. Midsummer Dome. As we walk out, here's uh, some good views of the East Fork Lakes. There's Lower Lake and the Middle Lake, or Lakes. And you really can't see the upper one, but we were eating lunch right above it, up there. What a place. And here we are heading back down. Joan is way out there. And off to the left is the second tarn that we saw. While we're hiking out, we catch up with Steve. He was actually... Uh, Traversing up out the uh, pass, out from the pass, uh, up the East Fork a little ways anyway, and saw us, but uh, oh, he was yelling, we were yelling, we did not see him, and he was lower than we were. Going back, we uh, take the high route uh, off to the uh, south side of the uh, valley, 
Uh, so we're looking down at the uh, tarns. That's the first tarn that we saw going up. And of course, uh, down there is uh, Pyramid Lake, right below Pyramid Mountain. Well, we're hiking from uh, Pyramid Lake back down to Mays Lake, which Mays Lake is right there, about uh, three-fourths of a mile to go. Well, I'm finishing up uh, a day hike from uh, Mays Lake, which is over there. And I'm um, awfully tired, uh, something over five miles, but uh, uh, it's also the kind of a day hike that makes the whole trip worthwhile. We went uh, from Pyramid, from Mays Lake here, up to Pyramid Lake, and then over to uh, uh, the uh, East Fork River Valley where there are some incredible Yosemite-like uh, rock walls, just absolutely incredible. Had lunch there and now on the way back. Uh, but again, like I say, uh, uh, it made the trip worthwhile. And several other views and experiences have on this trip. Uh, I'm uh, really happy to be doing uh, a Western trip after laying off for several years because of injuries and coronavirus. Our tents are scattered all over. There's uh, Tommy, Beverly and John, Bob, and Steve's way up there, I'm way over there, and actually Joan is moving her tent as we speak. And Bob is down there fishing. around uh, three o'clock, ready for a rest. What kind of whiskey you got? You got good whiskey? Huh? Dickel, dickel, dickel. <laughs> no, it's just Tennessee whiskey, yeah. Anybody want to sit? Looks like you're about done. See, you, uh, did you drink, that, was that? Wait, that's the sit. first no, bottle. No. Oh, Joan, was that it's full when you, got, when you started? Was that full? Yeah. Whoa, okay. What are you gonna do for the next couple well, of nights? Yeah. <laughs> You're right, Tommy. You're right that she's got another one. <laughs> well, that it's good. Enough. It appears right now that it's uh, Thai curry. Hey, Steve's having Thai curry. Tommy, what are you having? I'm going to uh, bend having this down. Northwest Garden so couscous. 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 Oh, I can see you and Beverly and John, that. lentil and uh, what? Potatoes. Well, that, that sounds actually pretty good. And Joan, what are you having? Uh, you, that you made? Yeah. Um, huh. Dehydrated from home. Okay. Now what kind of green? Yeah. Over there on that? Um, Kale, spinach. Uh, any, yeah, lots of greens. Lots of different kinds of greens put in with uh, uh, white uh, beans and. Um, Sounds promising. Yeah. And Bob, what do you have? Got potential. I have everyone's favorite chili mac. Chili mac, okay. okay. Great. Recording. Yeah. <laughs> and Will, and what are you I having? having uh, marinara sauce and spaghetti. I've been hydrating all afternoon. Observer.